Alright, so we are meeting a crew that was transporting an elderly female who fell. Apparently, like on their way to the hospital, they lost power to their unit. Like they lost power steering. So they're requesting another unit to uh, come meet up with them so they can finish transporting the patient. We're gonna do an old rendezvous. A little rendezvous? I mean, we put some wear and tear on these trucks, man. We run these things to the ground. 24-7. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often. We are headed to help another unit that's broken down with a patient in the back. These trucks get run into the ground, so it definitely happens. But we are going to be there to assist that patient because that's the main priority at this moment. 3248, we're out with 3247. Hey! Hi! Who is it? Housekeeping? Hi, so what's Miss going Evelyn. on? To go to the hospital. She called us out for some lower abdominal pain that started about 30 minutes ago. She's been constipated for three days. Okay. Stable vital signs. All right. Hi, just baby. Swap stretches. Since this truck decided that it just wasn't going to do you justice, we'll come get you to the hospital, okay? Okay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs> Bye, Miss Evelyn. Bye. <laughs> She had to leave that handsome stallion. All right, my baby, let me see this yeah, arm, my sweetheart. Are you comfortable like that, baby? Yes, All right. All right, let's head out. So, Miss Evelyn, explain to me what happened again tonight. I had a head in my stomach. You had in your stomach? three days, I haven't had a bowel movement. OK. This is a It's not a life or death situation at this moment, but she definitely needs to go to the hospital and be evaluated by a physician. I'm gonna push on your stomach a little bit, okay, baby? Have you been having any vomiting? No, I feel like I wanted to. My chest hurts. Your chest is hurting. My chest hurts now. It just started? No. When you left the house. Yes. Well, good thing is, is they gave me a copy of what your um, EKG looked like, and it looks good, OK? How old are you? 98. Are you sure? I'm positive. Are you? <laughs> Any goal to live to 100? Oh, yeah, fine. Well, with the way you're going now, honestly, baby, I believe you can live to, like, 110. I hope so. Because you do not look like you're 98. I'll tell you what, I'm the oldest one in the family. Yeah. I'm going to die at 93. What's the secret? God. Well, that ain't no secret, but. <laughs> I haven't been no saint all my life. I just did with the rest of them. <laughs> you did what the rest of us little hooligans have done? Yeah. Well, that's amazing. It's amazing that you're 98 and still look at you, sharp as a whip. I know she has discomfort all in her abdomen, but she still has a positive outlook. I definitely believe people who have a more upbeat and positive vibe live longer. It's definitely a key factor. Oh, boy. Back I'm going the wrong way. I know, it feels kind of weird driving backwards, huh? Oh, they're tiny. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, we made it, babe. Look, she's 98. Yeah? 98. Ooh, girl. You the independent woman. I bet you have some stories. <laughs> I just want to be like you, Miss Evelyn. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. <laughs> Grab the knob. Grab the knob. You know, they're not dead. I can work with that.